Good afternoon, Miss Mylene. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Miss Mylene, can you tell me about yourself? I am Mylene Ampalaya and I am 29 years old. I live in Manibalay, non Philippines, and Port Pangdapang. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because it's easy and less expensive. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because Malaysia is also an Asian country and I hear that people there is good. How are you qualified for this job? I am qualified because I already have experience working abroad and I know how to work um, in house jobs. Okay, may I know what your education level is? I only finished my secondary level in high school. Okay, what is your recent work experience? I work as a DH mom in Kuwait. Okay, have you have you experienced taking care of baby? Yes, mom, I already experienced. How about elderly people? I don't have any experience, but I am willing to learn. Do you have any other special skill? Cooking, cleaning, and so on. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, mom, I am willing. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, not yet, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What I sort know. of food can you cook? Uh, uh, food, uh, so Western food. So a Chinese, Malaysian, I am willing to learn. Okay, are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, Mama, I am aware. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Cleaning, Mom. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My sister-in-law. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hour. It's, it's okay, okay, mom. No problem. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, yes mom. It's okay. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, it's mom. It's okay. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, yes ma'am, I agree. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am, I agree. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics? Your attitude? Uh, I am hardworking and honest. Uh, you can trust on me and I am obedient and respectful. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I can assure you 100% because... Uh, can you promise not to worker. use? Okay. Uh, can Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. I promise. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. I promise. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. I promise. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am, I understand. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. 
Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defects? No, ma'am. Do you have suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medical fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, yes ma'am, I can promise. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Mylene, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay? Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till you finish your contract? Or will you go back? It's depend upon the situation. If my employer will let me go, then I will I will go back. I'm thankful of that. And if no, I will finish my contract. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in in Malaysia as domestic helper? I am I am honest, hardworking, and I want to work in. Malaysia because I want to try also working in Asian country. Okay, Miss Mylene, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video? Hi, mom. Good morning. I am Mylene and I am 29 years old and I am hardworking, and trustworthy, and honest, and respectful, kind. And I will assure you that I will obey your rules and regulation at home. And I will love your family. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Mylene. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, yes. ma'am. Thank, thank you, you. ma'am.